If you have some experience living in the Philippines, let us know your knowledge and what advice you would give for first timers in the comments below. So let's take a look at 7 tips for living in the Philippines for the first time. Obtain local health insurance. Healthcare costs in the Philippines are not the most expensive in the world, but they can soon add up and thus, unless you have a large pot of disposable income, it's often a wise idea to obtain local health insurance in the Philippines. There are pros and cons to obtaining health insurance locally rather than international insurance, but mostly foreigners living in the Philippines will find that obtaining local health insurance is more convenient and much cheaper. If you are trying to keep the costs down, one cost-effective option is Phil Health. This is a nationwide project that is open to both locals and foreigners. If you are interested in more information, I would recommend visiting our full guide on health insurance options for foreigners who are in the Philippines. Get hold of an ACR card after 59 days. This small card is a microchip form of identification similar to that of a credit card but can be very useful when living in the Philippines for the very first time. Once you have been set up in the Philippines you will likely have a list of priorities and one of those priorities may be obtaining a local bank account. Main Mainstream banks will require an ACR card before opening a bank account for a foreign visitor. There are also other benefits of owning such a card. Research the common scams. Scams are incredibly popular in the Philippines and several websites and government announcements have covered this subject in detail. These scams can be anything such as the taxi scam which is common in Manila, the romance scam or the investment scam. These topics have been heavily documented and made mentioned previously, but let me know if you wish me to investigate a particular scam or cover this in more detail. Arrange a real estate meeting before travelling. One of the best tips I would give for living in the Philippines for the first time is to network with local real estate agents. Of course this is not essential, but it can help speed up the process of renting a unit when you arrive in the Philippines. Additionally, you will find that different types of agents agents will have different types of property and therefore networking with a few independent agents often works very well if you are looking to get the process moving as soon as possible. Get vaccinated for COVID, malaria, hepatitis and so on. Vaccines are a slightly difficult topic as not everyone will need every type of vaccine. Before I arrived in the Philippines I decided to get the latest vaccines. From memory this was malaria and hepatitis but similar to health insurance, this is not essential, but it is often recommended by medical professionals. Fortunately, some fantastic websites outline what vaccines you may need when traveling and living in the Philippines, and I've added these in the description below. Stay within the cities for an easier journey. When looking at tips for living in the Philippines for the first time, it has to be said staying within the city is a fantastic idea if you are looking for an easier lifestyle. This is because city life is more accessible and there are plenty of options for all different lifestyles within the cities. Living outside of the city or in the provinces is also a fantastic option, but if you are brand new to the Philippines and you enjoy your comforts, it's often recommended to aim to stay within the cities. From reading the comments, I can see that many expats live or are planning to live in Cebu City. There are also some other fantastic areas that you may be interested in such as Iloilo City and Davao City. Have some hidden backup cash. So this morning I published an article about how to live well as a foreigner in the Philippines and the first section described how important having hidden cash is when living in the Philippines. In that article I spoke about when I was 15 and I read a book about life statistics. The book mentioned that on average every 10 years everybody will experience a major traumatic event in their life. This could be a bereavement, a loss of job or even a destruction of a home. And even though this information is yet to be something I have verified, it still stuck with me that just about anything can happen to us and having some sources of backup cash can be very handy in those unpleasing situations. 